at Camp Hominin, one of our ultimate goals is that our hominins spend less time climbing up in the trees and more time walking bipedally on the ground. However, we understand that our hominins are not going to make such a great transition overnight. And so, it came as no surprise when Auroran, Sahelanthropus, and Audipithecus spent an awful lot of time in the trees and only were facultatively bipedal. In other words, capable of bipedal locomotion some of the time, but they were not yet obligate bipeds, which did not go down on all fours at least sometimes. Thus, the early hominins possessed very long arms with modifications seen in the climbing apes. While some aspects of the leg, foot, and hip in the, these early hominins showed adaptations for bipedal locomotion, there were clearly adaptations for climbing as well, which are typical in climbing apes, which were lost in the later obligately bipedal hominins. Audipithecus, for example, still possessed a grasping large toe, typical of climbing primates which use this dexterity to help them grab branches, but such a large toe is a disadvantage when trying to walk bipedally on the ground. 